someone asked about how to get rid of the lines around the boxes for the two scripture template. And so if you've never used a two scripture template, you first have to make a um, compilation of sorts. So you can hold down two different Bibles. So we're going to do the Bible in Spanish and the Bible in let's do American Standard. So I'm going to hold down command here and command click here on my Apple uh, on a Windows computer. I think you have to hit the uh, Windows key. And so I've got two chat two types of Bibles selected. I can right click on those and say new collection. So it's not a compilation. It's a collection. So I select new collection and let's see here. I got to find which one it was. It was American Standard 2020 and the Spanish Bible. So let's see the Holy Bible in Spanish. I believe it's this one. So I can select that. And since I had the Spanish Bible selected first, uh, what ends up happening is I see the Spanish version of the Bible, which is hilarious. But because I don't speak Spanish, that's the only reason it's hilarious. But for templates, you want to go over to the templates and you want to select the one that has the two boxes. So scripture two. And notice here it has English and Spanish at the top. I can double click there click here and I'm just clicking through and I can see all these different versions of the Bible and you can ignore this green screen that was for a different project but this is what your audience would see in house but the question was how do you get rid of these black box or these white boxes around it so let's look at that the first thing you want to do is go to your templates and my recommendation is to always just duplicate what you've already got so you don't interfere with what's already there so we're going to select duplicate after I right click and now I've got scripture 2-2 I'm going to rename this by right clicking and selecting rename. We're going to call it scripture to uh, no box. All right. And so we got scripture to no box here, but it still has boxes because we haven't edited it yet. So we're going to right click on that edit. And now we've got our kind of the back end of that template, the edited uh, edited screen or editing screen of that template. So I can click on this particular box and you'll see there's this blue bar that represents the our blue box that represents the padding. That means that the, the text will never go past that blue box on the inside. If I click on this one, you'll see the same thing. It's got some padding around it, but we don't want the white box around it. So we're going to select this one and the text is already set. That doesn't have anything to do with the white box. It's actually the item that has a border on it. And so if we go to, let's see here, border is selected here and it's set to being white and it's at one. So if I turn this down, notice that it goes to zero and that box turns gray. If I go here, we do the same thing. We're going to turn it down, arrow down to zero. All right. And now we go back to our show and go to my scriptures. And we can click on any scripture. We can see them, but we got scripture two. We want to select the scripture two template that we just created that has no box. So we're going to go into our templates. We're going to look for scripture two. I'm just looking for two boxes here. So we got this one that we originally were on. And now we've got this one, the no box. And now you see that it's got two scriptures, but there's no box around them. So let's say we want to add a background. Let's go to my wallpapers here. And I don't want to show list view. Actually, I want to go to Yolo box files. That's a little bit easier. All right. And we'll pick that one. All right. So now you'll see if I go back to my scriptures, you'll see this got no box, no white box around it, but it does have the uh, transparent kind of darkening up so you can make sure you can see the scriptures really easily. If you don't want that there either, you can actually go back into your templates. And we can go to the scripture to no box. We would right click on it and we will go to edit and we would select it again. And we can simply go back to the item. And right now it's got a background color of black and the background opacity is set to four. We would turn that all the way down to, z to zero or to one in this case. Uh, and actually we can just turn the. Yeah, we can turn that down to zero or we can select this and just say no background. That's what I would do. So we can put that back up to what it was at. I think it was at four, right? Yeah, these are at four. We can just select that and say no background. 
All right. And so we'll see the difference. I'm not going to do both of them, but you would simply select this one and then hit that black and select the little X. And that means no background. But let's go back to show. We're going to go to scripture and we got scripture to no box. That's our template that we just edited. And notice here it hasn't updated yet. OK, but when I double click to the next scripture, check out how it looks. So you can just have scriptures and one can have a box, one couldn't. Or you can go in and edit that template and make this box go away as well. But this is how you would edit your templates uh, in this case specifically for scriptures. But you can you would do the same process for any templates, whether it's lyrics uh, or um, scriptures as well.